Describe bureaucracy. All right. Bureaucracy. The government organizes civil servants into different sectors, departments, or bureaus. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the government. Uh, in my previous video, I was stating lack of communication of these departments can lead to contradiction. All right. Uh, let's leave it at that. The government is massive. It's so huge. All right. And we are trying to uh, coordinate. The government is always uh, modifying its systems in order to try to have better coordination and better communication. All right. Um, when it deals with foreign policy, they are trying to develop a central communication system. Right. All right. So now we have here the government organizes civil services in different sectors, uh, departments or bureaus. So you have the government, right? It establishes a department. Within that department, you have sub-departments, all right? Sub-branches, sub-departments. And within those sub-departments, you have offices, all right? Now, these offices, right, are um, filled with elites, right? Individuals, all right? Civil workers here. These elites, these civil workers, they're highly educated, Okay, these these are educated uh, civilians, individuals who have years of experience and have uh, credentials in their field, and that's why they're placed in those offices, right? Okay, now, but something general about these civil workers is that they all attempt to fulfill the boss's need. Okay, whoever is in charge of them. They need to fulfill what they say, okay? And that's just basic standards uh, in any job, whether you're in hospitality, healthcare, um, governing, excuse me, <clears throat> hard labor, agricultural, uh, transportation. In any job, you will always try to fulfill the duty to the best of your ability to maintain uh, at good terms with your employer, all right? And that's, that, that's something that comes natural. All right, so now here we have civil workers um, within these offices, right, that have bosses, right? So if the president states, hey, listen, I need paperwork on the arsenal of so-and-so, and -so, of country B, okay? The civil worker needs to provide, needs to fulfill that, you know, that mission, all right? That goal, that objective, whether they, how they get it, you know, that's completely up to the civil workers and the team, whether they get it uh, through contracts, treaties, or maybe even military force or bribery, or they, they bought it off of somebody. However, they obtain that information. It all depends on the civil workers, right? Just as long as they fulfill the boss's needs, right? Let's say it's the president, right? Another thing, right? These elites, these governing officials, right? They fulfill the, uh, you know, their employer's needs, you know, they, they try to maintain a, a happy boss, right? That they will feed these uh, bosses or these, you know, these employer, their employers or they hire a ranking officer what they want to hear, okay? Even if it's untrue. All right. And then on top of that, there's one more uh, example where the ranking officer or the boss itself, he's just completely misguided. All right. He's a, he's asking for something that's uh, dangerous, illegal, um, not of national interest, unimportant, or he's just asking for something that's completely irrelevant. So these are all factors that go again, uh, that kind of all just play along with this uh, with the structure of government that we have.